vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men. For they may act their dream with open eyes to make it possible. This I did. Hands up. Enjoying yourself, pal? Oh, yeah, you're a comedian. Nice warm welcome. They're both clean. My apologies. One can't be too careful. I'm guessing you're Talbot? Mr. Sullivan. And Mr. Drake. That's right. Do you have it? Let's, uh... See the money first. Cut out. It's all there. Now let's see it. I'll need to authenticate it. Of course. Silver. 16th century, Elizabethan design, inscribed with Sir Francis Drake's motto. Well, it appears to be genuine. Well, of course it's genuine. If I may ask, how did you two come into this? Does it matter? <laughs> My client will be very pleased. Hold on a minute. Sully, this is fake. I assure you, Mr. Drake. Whoa, whoa, you are right. This is phony as a $3 bill. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Perhaps I should be asking you. This is bullshit. The deal's off, pal. And you? You can tell your client. You blew it. Come on, Nate, let's get the hell out of here. You're not really in a position to negotiate. Now give me the ring, take the case, and walk out of here like gentlemen. While you still can. Do as the man says, son. You're a thief. Well, now, that's ironic. Come on. Oh, yes, you oh. got. This one's mine! Time to rest. Get him! 
Second there, mate. I'll be right with you. Out the back. Stop him! I've got the old geezer! How's that? Ready to go, kid? Yeah. Let's go. Oops. Oh, crap. Oh. Typical bloody yank. All talk. Hey, 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 hey. He's had enough, haven't you, mate? Don't. Stay down. Following in the gutter with your protege, I see. Not very dignified for a man of your age. Should have known you'd be behind this. Well, careful now. Wouldn't want you to melt. <laughs> Same cocky little shit. So fearless. I wonder what you're really afraid of. Not bullets, or blood, or broken bones. No. You get off on all this, don't you? Cheating death? Or not? No. <laughs> Mr. Sullivan, I won't harm your precious boy. I merely want what's mine. Give me that back. <laughs> Cutter! Oh no, oh. Shut, Shut up. up! You fool! Oh, you're bloody welcome, Your Majesty. Marlow, we have to get you out of here. Oh, come on, they're a right pair of arseholes. What? Thank <laughs> you. 
Not it either. It's gotta be in one of these cases. El museo cierra en 15 minutos. No, that's not it either. Te agarré, ratita callejera. Suélteme. Clase de gente no es bienvenida aquí. Y quédate afuera. Pendejo. Oh, 
tanto. Bato. Está verde para toda la vecindad. Eso es para los patacones, ¿no? Pisao, no joda. Oh, don't mind if I do. Vete de aquí, limonero. It was rotten anyway. Ah, now where did he go? Where is he going? Now what's he doing? Locked. Looks like he's gone upstairs. Hmm. Gonna have to find another way up. doing in there. I need to get a better look. Yeah. Aquí lo tiene. That's a ticket. Adios, amigo. Okay. I gotta get that wallet. Crap. I can't go down that way. spot him from the roof. I get down there. Looks like I can climb down that side.
gotta get down there. Yeah. Okay, it's right there in his pocket. Now's my chance. It seems we have some time to kill. Let's try that again. Let go of me. Ah, that's what I thought. Now don't try to run. You're a long way from home, son. Don't call me that. Parents must be worried about you. <laughs> yeah, not likely. Okay, so subject. That was a nice lift back there. You're pretty good. I don't know what you're talking about, old man. Hey, don't call me that. Your technique is really sloppy, though. You're telegraphing all your moves. You're crazy. Yeah? You've been tailing me all over town. Probably figured me for an easy mark. But you picked the wrong guy, pal. Uh, uh. What? My wallet. Fine. Maybe we'll just call the police. Go ahead. Of course, they might wonder why a middle-aged tourist is following young boys down alleyways. <laughs> you are a crafty little beggar, aren't you? I know how to take care of myself. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you don't like the cops any more than I do. Good point. Kid. The wallet. I had to try. Of course you did. <sighs> Telegraphing all my moves, huh? Closed. There it is. Ah, oh, that was close. Okay.
Whoa. Uh, damn it, kid. Why, Victor, look who it is. The filthy little stray that made off with your wallet. Come on, son. You haven't got a chance. Just hand it over. Now, the ring. What ring? <laughs> Catherine! Who do you think you are, boy? You're nothing but a filthy, cast-off little beggar. You're not fit to touch these objects. What the hell do you think you're doing? He's just a kid. Stop him! Stop the boy! Holy crap! He has the ring! Oh, God. He's heading for the roof! Catch him! Just stop it! Chains! Break it! Hurry! Let go! Shit! Oh, crap. Who the hell are these guys?
Look what we have here. <laughs> Whoops. You all right? What are you shaking for? Just close your eyes. This won't hurt a bit. Okay, kid. You can relax, kid. We're safe here. Go on. Suit yourself. You don't want it. What do you want from me? Hmm. A little gratitude would be nice. I did just save your ass back there. Thanks. But what's in it for you? I mean, you're a crook, right? <laughs> you gotta have an angle. <laughs> you are one piece of work, kid. What's your story, anyway? Look, mister. No offense, but I don't even know you. Easily remedied. Victor Sullivan. This would be the part where you introduce yourself. Okay. Suppose you tell me what's so special about that ring. It belongs in my family. I'm just taking it back. Passed down from Francis Drake himself. That's right. I don't know how to break this to you, kid, but Drake didn't have any heirs. No children. Well, not with his wife back in England, anyway. <laughs> okay, good point. Let me see it. Come on, kid. If I was gonna take it from you, I would have done it by now. Thank you. So, what is this? Parvis Mem... Sick Parvis Magna. It means greatness from small beginnings. That was his motto. Yeah? You see, Queen Elizabeth gave it to him in 1581, when he got back to England after circumnavigating the globe. That's when she made him a knight. Well, you sure as hell didn't learn that on the streets. How's a kid your age know Latin? The nuns sort of insisted on it. Ah, uh, so like a boarding school. That's a nice word for it. Okay, then. So what was all that business with the ring and that astrolabe thing back there? Why don't you tell me? You're the one working for him. Look, kid. A client wants something, I obtain it. For a price. I don't ask any questions. It's just a job. You look pretty friendly to me. Yeah, hey, well... Anyway, I'm pretty sure I'm fired. Okay, look. First of all, that was no astrolabe. It's some sort of...